guys, it's Kyla. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing it back. I think everybody has at this point has seen this trend going around by step four. It is the book recommendation tag. She started this tag a few weeks ago and I've kind of been seeing it float around on YouTube and I wanted to have a go at it for myself. I just wanted to talk about books with you guys and really just kind of look back at all the books I read and see how many of them I truly love and how many have just stuck with me because I read a lot of books but I don't remember all of them. So today that's what we're going to be focusing on. So I have all the questions here with me. There are 10 questions. I will put all of them in the description box below as well as Steph's video. We're going to pretty much just jump right on into this video because I am super excited to talk about all the books here. So the first question is a book that you tell people is your favorite. Let's see. It has to be Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I love this book. You probably will hear me repeat a couple of series throughout this tag, but it's just ones that like immediately they came to mind. And I was like, oh, I have to say that one. This book series is one of my favorite book series of all time. I love the Shatter Me series so incredibly much. I have actually convinced one of my friends to read it and I'm just so excited for her to read it and for her to just get all into the series because there are a lot of books and I just... I love it so much so that is one for sure the next question is a book that is your guilty pleasure which it's a lot of books for me and that is going to be the after series by Anna Todd just this series is such a guilty pleasure series that I genuinely love of course like their relationship is toxic and I don't agree with like almost anything that happens in this series but it's so entertaining and it just brings me back to whenever I first started reading so it's just one of those guilty pleasure books that I just go to again and again you have after after we collided after we fell and after ever happy by the way, if you're basing this book series off the movies, don't. The movies are so different from the books and the books are so much better. So just this series brings me back so far. And personally, my favorite one is After We Fell, which is the third book of this series. There's so much that goes on in this book that just like makes my jaw drop. And I wish the movies would have put it in there better, but they didn't, which makes me really, really sad, but that's okay. Number three is a book that everyone loved, but you didn't. Not gonna lie, I don't really talk about this often because I feel like a lot of people get angry at me all the time whenever. I do say that I just did not like this book and that is Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. This is the only Lucy Score book that I read by her. I read it whenever it first got really really popular. I thought I would like it and I gave it like a one star. Like I did not like this book whatsoever. I thought it was extremely boring and I just did not enjoy it which is really sad because everybody loves it. Everybody's like been reading the new one but me I just kind of sat back and I was like I'm not gonna pick that up because I don't think that I'm gonna like it. Yeah, that's probably like the only book that I've read so far where everybody loves it and I just didn't. So the next question is a book that you read the fastest and mine has to be anything by Colleen Hoover. I have literally read every single one of these books in one day. It ends with us, it starts with us, Ugly Love and Heart Bones. I read these books so fast it takes me like three hours to get through one of her books which is just crazy because all these books are just so beautiful. I am a big fan of Miss Colleen Hoover which I know that lately she's been getting a lot of backlash for what I don't know. I kind of just want to stay out of the drama with it all. Yes I do love her her books and every single one I have just gone through and I've loved them so much. I think I gave every single one of these books a five stars. If you're wondering what my favorite one of hers that I've read so far, it's probably going to be Heart Bones. Just look at that cover. That story is just beautiful to me. I think everybody needs to read this book. Like genuinely, it's about this girl Bea. She comes from a life of poverty. She lives with her mom and one day she moves in with her dad and her dad and like her dad's side of the family, they go out for the summer to like a lake house or a beach house or something like that and that's where she meets Samson and you get to learn about two very broken people coming together and things happen. Secrets are kept from one another but it's just such a beautiful story about these two teenagers who just want to start over in life and who cling to each other and who like encourage each other to go through with it and I just love it so much for that reason it's so incredibly good so the next prompt is a book that deserves more hype this I specifically have a series for that and that is going to be the Bridgerton series I love these books so much so we have Bridgerton the Duke and I the Viscount who loved me and an offer from a gentleman all by Julia Quinn if you love the show pick up these books they're so freaking good you could probably skip the first one I'm not even gonna lie 
didn't really like the first one, but I know that other people do love this book. So if you want to have a go at it, go at it. My two personal favorites that I've read so far is The Viscount Who Loved Me and An Offer From A Gentleman. So freaking good. I love it so incredibly much. I'm actually probably about to start reading Romancing Mr. Bridgeton, which is Penelope and Colin's story. I just love this series so incredibly much, and I definitely think it deserves so much more hype. The next one is a book that is going to become a TV show or movie. It was kind of really hard to find one that like I've read because uh, I know like Summer I Turn Pretty came out. I know that Bridgerton is obviously out. I know that I know that end, ends with us is starting to film really soon. I'm super excited. But one that like I personally am just excited to see what they do with it. I don't know if it'll be necessarily good. Probably not counting on that. But one that I am interested to see where they go is A Corner of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. It took me so long to read the series. For what reason? I have no idea. It's so stupid how long it took me to get into the series, but I immediately fell in love with it and I'm actually really interested on how they're going to do the TV show. I know that it doesn't start filming to the end of 2023, but the fact that I know it exists now makes me just excited for it, which I'm probably going to be let down because let's be honest, not every adaptation is amazing. It can't all be like the Hunger Games where it was perfect, but we can at least try. Yeah, I love this series and I'm excited to see what happens with it. Next one is a book that you have reread the most. I think we already know all what I'm gonna say. And if you don't, then you haven't been here since last year. But that is gonna be Twisted Love by Anna Huang. I have read this book so many times, like a million and one times, and I love it every single time. I actually really wanna do a reread and redo my tabs and add more tabs in here. Don't know, this book is about Ava and Alex. Alex is this kind of mysterious bad boy. He is her brother's best friend. Love that trope, one of my top favorites. And Ava is a photographer who's such a shunch. It's such a shun. She's such a shun sunshine. Su she is such a sunshine girl. There you go. I love this book and I love this entire series. I will reread it all the time, every day, all day. No questions asked. The next prompt is a book from a genre that you don't typically read. That is going to be, personally, that is Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves. I did not read fantasy like at all until I read these books. Like I read The Hunger Games last year and I kind of dipped my toes in fantasy, like with the cool prints, but I didn't like it so I didn't stick with it. But I did read these two books. I loved this book so incredibly much. I actually really want to reread it. I definitely need to give Vow of Thieves another shot. I ended up loving Dance of Thieves so much that Vow of Thieves just didn't do it for me, which is really sad because it's supposed to be the sequel, it's supposed to wrap everything up, but I think it was because I didn't really understand what was going on that I gave it such a low rating, but I do want to reread them because I want to give it another shot because I love this one so much and I just felt like this one kind of lacked a little bit but I think that was my own fault so yeah these two books really got me into fantasy really got me into like going and dipping into other YA fantasy like Shatter Me which is my favorite series of all time it got me into Akatar. so these two books definitely owe that to them and now I feel a bit better like reading books out of my comfort zone which is kind of crazy do love that series so much and the number nine is a book that deserves all the hype it gets guys there was no better answer than Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This book has so much hype for being one of like the best kind of relationship books to read as in like it does not have any miscommunication, the story is great, the characters are amazing, the character development in here is just so good and I think it really deserves the hype like for sure. Just look at the cover. Just that itself is just so gorgeous. I just love it so incredibly much. I definitely want to reread it and I want to tab my copy because I did read it on my Kindle and then I had to get the paperback. If you have not read this book, definitely go and read it. It deserves all the hype, everything about it. But you basically have a figure skater and hockey player romance. It's not like enemies to lovers, it's like rivals to lovers. It's boy falls first. It's grumpy sunshine, but reverse. So the girl is grumpy and the guy is sunshine, which is one of my favorite tropes in the entire world. I could go on and on about it. Just love it so much so great so for the next question it is a book you usually recommend when asked to give a recommendation i have two answers both are going to be ya but that is going to be number one the shatter me series i tell everyone and their mother to read it it is so freaking good like this girl in target the other day she was talking to her mom about books and i turned around and was like have you read shatter me she's like yes it's my favorite i was like yes go girl and then the next one is if he had been with me by laura nowlin this book is so freaking beautiful it's so incredibly heartbreaking and everybody 
needs to read this book because I think it does teach such a valuable life lesson. Right person, wrong time about like why you shouldn't wait to just be happy. I just love this book so incredibly much and of course Shadow Me series because it has the best book boyfriend in the entire world, Aaron Warner. Yes, please. Definitely these two I will recommend to everyone and their mother. Next one is a book that has all your favorite characters. For this I have three answers. I think we all know what I'm going to say for that. That's going to be the Addicted Sash Calloway Sisters Universe, Shadow Me series, and Akatar. You're going to hear these repeated for the rest of the video because they are so good. They are all my favorite series of all time. Just they're all so freaking good. The entire Addicted series is just has my favorite people of all time. They're so realistic and they're so well written and thought out. Shadow Me just has amazing funny characters who I constantly love and just each relationship with each character and each character development is just so good. And then of course Akatar. I love every single person here except for uh, one or two. You know, all three of these series are so great. Love them. I would love to be a part of their entire family, like every single one of them. And then the next one, which I kind of already answered, a book that you wish you could live in. If I had to choose between these three, I would definitely go for the Addicted Universe. I would love to be Daisy's best friend and go on crazy adventures with her. I would love to talk to Rose about fashion and I would just love to have deep, heartfelt conversations with Lily. That would be like in my ideal world. I love every single one of these characters so incredibly much and I would just love to be a part of their family. I just, it's so raw and it's so real and I just love that so much. Just how Krista and Becca Ritchie wrote these characters out and just, Everything about them is just so good. The next one is a book that you thought you would hate but you ended up loving. For this, I have two answers. And the two are gonna be Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings and then Crave by Tracy Wolf. Um, I did take off the dust jacket, but I thought I would actually end up hating both of these books. I thought that like Magnolia Parks was just gonna be like too much for me, like way too catty, way too drama filled. And Crave, I just thought was gonna be kind of like stupid. Like I wouldn't end up loving it, but I do love both of these books so much. You have to go into Magnolia Parks with knowing that it's not like a cute fluffy romance like it has a lot of drama and it has a lot of problems between the characters but the characters do love each other and the families do love each other which going into this book knowing that I think really helped me love it so much more because I had low expectations but now I love the series so much which I think is true for a lot of people because you either love the book because you went in with lower expectations or you hate the book because you went in with too high of expectations yeah this book is so freaking good you love like gossip girl pretty little liars kind of drama this is your go-to book. And so for the Crave series, we follow Grace as she goes to Alaska after her parents die and she goes off to the sporting school. What she doesn't know about the sporting school is that it's a boarding school for supernatural creatures and everything like that. So it's very much Twilight with Vampire Diaries. It kind of has like the Vampire Diaries character relationships with like the cringiness of Twilight, but it makes it so good. I was kind of like eating up this entire series. I have read all of them so far and I loved every single one of them and I'm patiently waiting for the newest one to come out in May. I will get my hands on it as soon as it comes out. This book series is so good and I thought I would end up hating it and just not want to continue it. But after I read the first one, I could not stop myself from there. Like I had to read the rest of them. The second to last one is a book that made you cry. There's only like a few books that have ever made me cry, but the one that I do own because I don't own the rest of them because they were just too heartbreaking for me, that is going to be A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. I remember reading this book in January. It was like the first book that I read of the year not this past January but the last one before and I was just crying because I loved these characters so much and everything that they went through just broke my heart just like I was crying because I was fresh I was crying because I was sad I was crying because I was so happy for them and just this book brought me through any and every single emotion that you could imagine I loved it so incredibly much this book is just everything to me and I got the five-year special edition of it and it's just so beautiful but in this book, you are following Jamie and B as their love story it just goes through this entire roller coaster of emotion. It's very much right person, wrong time throughout the entire book, but it is so freaking good. Everybody needs to read it. It's just one of those books that you just have to read. Like, you haven't read a book like this before, and then whenever you read it, you're going to be wanting more of this kind of book. But, like, there's so few out there that have actually done it right in this one. Six stars. I love it. It's my favorite book of all time. And the last question for this video is going to be a book that you wish you could read for the first time again. For me, it's gonna be the Akatar series. I recently just have finished Frost and Starlight. Like I recently read these within like three or four weeks and I was already texting my friend. I was like, I really wish I could just reread them all for the first time again because the fact that I can't ever relive all these emotions again hurts me because this series
series is so freaking amazing. I'm about to start Silver Flames and I'm just not ready because I don't like that's the last one that's out. Like I don't want it to be over yet, but I love this series so much. Like I really wish I would have vlogged me reading this series, but I just didn't because I was like just obsessed with it. Like I had to read it right then and there. It's just so freaking good. I love this entire series, the twists and the turns that it takes, the storyline, the characters. I love it all. And I think everyone needs to read it. Same goes for like the Shatter Me series. Like if I could reread the Shatter Me series again for the first time, that would be great. But right now it's Akatar, but also Shatter Me. Like those two series to me go hand in hand. Like they're my favorite top like books ever. There's a lot of books I need to put up now. Like if you guys could just see the pile on my bed right here, that'd be crazy. This is only a few of them. Like let's grab these. Look at that. Oh no, already dropping the books. Already happening. Just gonna set this down but yeah that is all the questions from this tag i really really enjoy these tag videos i think they're so much fun and i think everyone on youtube just at least us as content creators i feel like i've missed these types of videos and we're trying to bring them back because they're so fun for us and they're so fun to watch other people do as well so i really hope that you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe also comment down below and answer one of these questions that is in this video in the description box whichever i would love to know some of your answers to these questions so yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, keep up with me on all my socials, and I will see you all in my next video. I love you, and goodbye. Peace out.